welcome to Essa Overlander. Good afternoon everybody, uh, welcome to SA Overland, my name is Joel and I'm your host for all this afternoon. And let me tell you what a great experience this was today. Uh, we are here at uh, the new Ineos Grenadier prototype tour, uh, here at BMW uh, X uh, Trail course here in Midrand. Over the years I have I've, I've waited for this moment forever. Um, it's four years in the making, making. If it's not longer, it started when it's upset when Land Rover decided to stop making the old legacy Land Rover here behind me, which is mine. And uh, it is a, a phenomenal vehicle. So, uh, yeah, I've been upset when I stopped making the vehicle. And, uh, well, then there was, four years later, there was a ray of light at Land Rover that decided to make a new Defender. And we were all very excited uh, because, um, you know, it's, it's not that just the Land Rover, but it's the whole community. And it's like me, I'm part of the Overland community. And uh, you know, these vehicles uh, are very close to us, especially our Overlanders. I mean, it is the same with, with uh, uh, the Toyota Land Cruiser guys. They are die-hard Land Cruiser guys. But they, you know, then there's also the Overlander community that uses those vehicles. And uh, if you have to take away that Land Cruiser today, I mean, what the hell will break loose? And it was in the same in our world. So that the little ray of light was there. And uh, yeah, we were very, very, very happy. And then, I think it's about two years later, the prototype, prototype leaks started coming out over the internet, especially in the United States where they were testing these vehicles. And obviously there's a whole lot of people taking photographs. And in I saw that, I thought, this is drama. I mean, I could see this is, this is not, it's not a, it's, it's not going to be a, a vehicle for us, you know, for us legacy Defender guys. And uh, so eventually they launched the Defender and look, it is a good car. It's a very good car. But it's not fast because it is so full of electronics. It's got independent suspension, air suspension, all the stuff that we don't need uh, or, or don't want because those things cause problems. Especially if you up in Namibia or you up in Malawi or the deepest, darkest of Botswana or Mozambique or or even in the outback of Australia, wherever you are, and you break down because of sensors and all kinds of stuff, and they do break all the time. Um, you know, and then I say, oh, but uh, we, we, we just dial up and then we diagnose it for you. Uh, somebody has to fix it. I mean, there's nobody to fix these things. And it, it's not like the old legacy Defender where you climb in with a 14 spanner and you can just take the whole vehicle apart, drop you. Uh, gearbox, fix it up, take a few gears out and you only drive with a first and a, and, and a, and, and a fifth gear. You know, it has happened to me. And, uh, and you, you put it back in. You know? It takes you a while but it's done. You can't do it with a new one. It's impossible. So, and then the internet that started flying with this Ineos Grenadier concept coming to light. And I started following them from day one. And 
throughout the development and as you go through my my YouTube channel you'll you'll realize it's um they really took us to heart. Uh, I mean I do understand where Sir Jim Radcliffe comes from. Uh, he owns a few farms here in South Africa and been in Namibia and all those places. And he owned Land Rovers and they broke down on him and uh, so he wanted a similar vehicle that is just reliable. Right? And I, I'm, I'll be honest, I mean, my, my Defender is, is semi-reliable, but you have to take care of it like a baby. Um, double check everything because, it, 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 you, know, you know, it's a 60-year-old uh, design. Most of the stuff on the 60 years, you know, designed 60 years ago. So, uh, yeah, and then this, this, they started coming out with it, some designs and so forth. And obviously the process, you can follow the process on my, on my YouTube channel. And, uh, and then I start, you start seeing the vehicle being used by the cycling team that uh, Enos has sponsored. And now they are sponsoring the, the All Black Rugby team. And my heart just, whoa, you know, because I could see the passion that they're putting in and what they put into this vehicle. They put their heart into it. They, they, they thought this through. And uh, so obviously then, uh, whew, it's excited. I heard the Grenadiers were the first prototypes landed in South Africa. And... Uh, Oh, it's amazing. Um, so I've been invited, arrived here today, set up the hospitality is first class. First, first, first class. And then the vehicle. My word. I've taken a lot of B-roll, which I'll share with you guys. Uh, they, they, we were not allowed to, to drive the vehicle uh, because it's still a class 22 prototype vehicle so obviously it's only the, the factory guys that can drive it but it's 99.99 percent done um, yeah, there's a few little notices that they need to sort out but the vehicle uh, is, is on the go and uh, yeah I tell you um, When you, when you go, even you climb into it, you can feel the ruggedness of it. You can, you can just feel it. When you, you knock on the body, you can just feel the ruggedness. Um. Yeah, so it's very clear. Um, as I just saw before, because the auxiliary switches um, for, again, uh, light bars um, pre-wired to the vehicle. So that makes life so much easier. Yeah. You will be able to get a, uh, a diagram to say which switch will be able to give you what amps for what accessory. Yeah. So, you know, fridges at the back, light bars in the front, um, winches, spotlights. It's all pre-wired within the vehicle. And nothing is digital in the car, it's just all analog. Analog and of course the uh, touch screen, but we'll get yeah, to well that. That's a little bit of digital, yeah. there's nothing. And then here we have our uh, front and rear differential uh, activation switches. Again, it's in a cage, so we separate the 4x4 activation of this vehicle away from the convenience of uh, and the comfort of the car. We have heel descent and traction control. We have uh, wading in snow and of course our interior lights. So very um, simple, what your gym wants is very straightforward and, 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 and not complicated. Again, we have uh, a, a touch screen and uh, if you don't want to use the touch screen because of muddy hands and maybe uh, you know water, we can also use the uh, little center knob in the middle here if you're able to you know, activate. And uh, here's a little center knob. So we also have option to use that as a touch screen we get our hands dirty. Um, down here we have the convenience of your heated seats, fan, front and rear demisters, hazard switch, aircon, uh, stop start and of course your park assist. But a very familiar um, icon is of course the BMW, BMW gear lever, gear lever because the vehicle is powered by a BMW yeah. state 6 3 litre engine. And then obviously Zenith gearbox. 
eight speed, eight, awesome. Eight speed ZF gearbox, great combination. Yeah, um, yeah our engineering team really made a, a very good statement and yeah. uh, putting these combinations together. Yeah. And again, you can feel the comfort of the uh, ladder chassis with the uh, solid axle. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Absolutely. And a lot <laughs> of people are like, yo, this was still, why didn't they think about this long time ago? Um, again, low torque, um, low revs, comfort off and on road capability. Vehicle will come out with a three year service plan, three year warranty and unlimited mileage. And again, a eight speed ZF gearbox, which is actually effortless up a small little hill like yeah. this. I mean, you can just feel that. That's amazing. Absolutely yeah, phenomenal. A lot of torque. Sure. Yeah, at low revs. Low, low revs. And again, yield descent. Again, I'm not even going to activate any of the aids of uh, for four x four capability. Just normal drive, foot on the brake, and able to sail down and able to crawl down the hill. 550 kilo newton meters of torque, 183 kilowatts of power. Well, it's very well engineered. Absolutely. And we'll show you a little bit of oscillation. Again, if you want to, you want to put the camera out the wheel, you might see the wheels um, doing some oscillation. Yeah. Unbelievable. Well, at least you've got a bit of mud in Joburg, not like Cape Town. <laughs> we've got dust in Cape Town. <laughs> Vehicle with a uh, tire pressure monitoring, currently not calibrated, but um, it gives you an idea of, of, of what is it. Yeah. So your tire pressure monitoring, gearbox all cooler, engine all cooler. Batteries, where are they? Batteries are mounted under the rear seats. So oh, that's great. They're all under the inside of the seat, yeah. so quite comfy. Yeah, and then we'll just go over this little oscillation at the moment. It's probably the worst part of the course kind of rolls about and does this thing. How smooth is that? Bloody hell! So from terrain to terrain, the vehicle is quite capable of doing it. Yeah. At this point, I like to tell the customers, the Grenadier in his natural state. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely amazing, this. You know, what, I, what I wanted to show, show you was actually just listen to the amount of engine power and torque required to climb up a hill of almost 27 degrees. Unbelievable. Okay, so here we go. It's just a accelerator sensor. So again, very little percentage with an automatic torque and lockup. This Idols up there. So simple yeah, stuff. So no that's not Moscow today. Yeah. Well, that's why I mean, you know, people were complaining about the the price. You yeah. know, uh, I mean, it's, it's it's not a cheap car. Um, no, no. But if you take what technology has been put in, and everything everything is durable. Yeah. It's 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 like almost it's over engineered. It's, yeah. What the Jim wanted is a vehicle that will last from generations to generations. Yeah, it's a one person car. Yeah. One owner car. A one family car. Yeah. Yeah. For generations to it's, come. It's not like the new Defender where it's all, oh, I've got a 2022 uh, uh, model and now it's 2027 and yeah. now my car is old. <laughs> Have you got some waiting? Because the new guy's got a new model with new headlights. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. I'm not going to splash it, otherwise, you're going to get splash on the camera. No, it's alright. You can go. At least you can see some ideas. Engine just idles. <laughs> yeah, this is not calibrated, but at least you know this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Again, the vehicle has two door rubbers. So it has a a door rubber and it has a body rubber. Um, so yeah, it's very neat. again, for insulation, yeah, yeah. quietness within the cabin. And tell me, the, the, the this loom, where, the, where does this loom go? It'll run into the into the A pillar down down the down the pillars there. Yeah, down the pillar. Right. You hear the squeak? Yeah, yeah. 
So if you buy the squeak for 1.5, we'll give you the grand a free. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Again, capable customer is allowed to download the service manual, workshop manual, and the wiring diagram for free. Yeah, we, we had to hack it. Fix the work. Yeah, we don't go. We're not going to dealership. Yeah, and you know dealerships today? They yeah. don't give you anything. So not the happiest of yeah. things to go for. No, no, everything is uh, solid, solid, solid. Oh, oh, unbelievable. You cannot believe the pull in this thing. That engine. Well, that's why it's the best uh, diesel engine in the world. I mean, it's, it's just pure torque. No nosedive. It's, it's got nothing. brake brake discs all right. Um, and no electronic fancy electronic handbrake motor. Again, what we wanted is simplicity. No unnecessary handbrake cables. No unnecessary motors. There's Everything. Nothing. There's simplicity. nothing. 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 It's just clean. And there's, there's no, what's the word, extra nonsense. Yeah, yeah. No, Every, no. Every, everything has got a purpose. Yeah, oh, well, that's where the thing comes, it's built for with a purpose. No curvaceous curves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my word. No, the Cape Town Oaks didn't experience it. I mean, this is it. <laughs> you say, this is the Yiddish manier. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I like this. Ah, oh, this, that. Hell's bells. Unbelievable. And there she's in a natural state again. The grenadier in his <laughs> natural state. Like Mark Evans would say, let's see if nature can break this. <laughs> uh, like Mark Evans said, let's see if nature can break this. And I think we're pretty close. Or yes. far. <laughs> no, this is a... Uh, you know, that's why I wanted to put it, my legacy defender next to yeah. this one, um, you know, so that the people can see the comparison. Because that's the new defender is a disaster. Yeah. I mean, you, you can't compare it to this thing. I mean, I've driven in the new defender. Yeah. It's not like this. Come in, Anna. Give me two seconds. Yeah. Nothing. Duct tape can't fix. Yeah, I was like, what's it? Yeah. It flew off my head. It's like prototype. Yeah. yeah, so we don't we don't take all the parts off. Yeah. <laughs> ah, this is really good. You know, I waited four years for this thing. Right? Yeah, you I mean, so it's you were part uh, of the. Uh, I I dream, eat, sleep this this vehicle. And uh, does it um, has it met expectations? No, absolutely, I, absolutely. I love that sound. Ooh, this, this car is not... No, I shouldn't use that word. Because <laughs> none of the gay people is not going to be happy with me. All good fun. All good fun. All good fun. Thank you for uh, flying. Thank you for flying Air Ineos. Um, your carousel uh, luggage will be at carousel number three. <laughs> if you need, uh, we will depart in the plane uh, two rows at a time, one from the front and one and from, from the rear. Back. Chicken or? Chicken or beef. <laughs> <laughs> well, as you can see, the land where we not behind me anymore. The new group has arrived. So hurry, 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 hurry. You might be able to wait. And you the pin is standing here doing a prototype to a launch. Um, but anyways, we will be uh, the Grenadier. Um, so it's very well built. People were talking about the price. And uh, I tell you, uh, if you if you go and look at the tie rods and uh, the cross members, the diff, just everything on this vehicle looks like it's almost like it's over designed. I mean, it's strong, um, but you know, we always knew that uh, in your society was, this is not a, you're going to have a 2022 model and then 2025 come out, comes out and you're going to go, hmm, you know, my vehicle is called Abitrated in. No, this is, this is a one-man vehicle, one-owner vehicle, 
and uh, that, is, that is their aim. It's the same like the old legacy defenders, you, if it was a 1950 or, or uh, 2010 model, nobody bought it. It's a defender. Uh, and it, it, it's just the same vision uh, with, with the thing. It's, it's, not, it's not about the, the day, the, you know, what, what year, what model you have. Uh, oh no, they changed their headlights. I need to get a new one. Uh, no, uh, that's not their outfit. Uh, obviously, uh, they are going to bring out uh, the 90 and they're also going to bring out the 130, which they are almost ready with, uh, which is awesome. Um, I think that will only be next year. They just want to get the uh, production going this year on, 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 the, on the, the passenger kind of gear. Um, you see there's two different models in there. Um, but uh, uh, when they went on a test, uh, test drive, and I'll put, I'll put some footage for you in. Uh, oh my word. The talk. And then I said it's not calibrated, but it's approximately what it was producing 472 Newton meters on a wheel. Per wheel. I mean, it is, that Zenith gearbox is a nutcase. I tell you, it's an 8 speed gearbox, uh, obviously powered by the, uh, the BMW turbo engine. Uh, that's, and it's the best, that is the best diesel engine in the world. Nobody can beat that engine. I mean, the Germans know how to build diesel engines because they bloody well invented these things. So, uh, yeah, um, the suspension is so smooth. And, uh, and uh, on, on the air, on, on, the, on the departure angle, I mean, they went up this incline here. It was 35 or 40 degrees. What the hell? And then I stopped there. Don't pull the handbrake up. Just, I'll just sit there. And then. Don't rev it and ah, oh, there it goes up the hill. No, it just touches it like this and whoop, over the hill. Oh, it's, 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 it's amazing, it's amazing. Uh, the space inside is also great. Uh, I mean, for any overlay, you cannot have enough space ever. But it's, 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 it's better than what the 110 is, leg space and everything is a huge improvement. Uh, and all the buttons and everything is all. Um, Proper airplanes. It's almost like airplane switches. Uh, there's no digital stuff. Everything is analog, except for the little screen, which gives you kilometers an hour and so forth. So that uh, that's the only digital part of it. I don't touch water. I mean, it's too bloody high up. I mean, uh, and I say, oh, but your waiting level. Who waits that deep? I mean, God, we, we, we're not doing the camel trophies anymore. If you want to go and go down a river in a cyclone, you're welcome to take it down there. But, uh, it has never happened in my, I mean, I've gone deep, but I don't go that deep, so I'm not worried about that little radio up there. But it's, it's all analog. Uh, it's going to have uh, Apple CarPlay, everything will be in there, it will be, uh, uh, yeah, but it's just going to be compatible with everything. And I thought of everything, the looms, it's all everything, everything, all the looms from the roof goes down the side pillar and for your winches and everything is You don't have to go take it to auto electrician to know how to run wires to do your, to do your, uh, put in a winch or anything like that. No, it's all pre-wired. The uh, switches are sitting above your head. So uh, it is very comfortable. You know, you know where everything is. Oh, it's very. So all your er ergonomics or aircon and everything is sitting in front of you, and everything technical on the vehicle is right above you uh, in, in the roof. Um, yeah, uh, it was an absolute awesome day. The vehicle is awesome. Uh, look, they are, they are very close. Uh, first deliveries, first of October this year. This when they will bring the first deliveries between the 1st of October and December. Um, and up to today, 200 vehicles in South Africa have already been ordered. Uh, I mean, bloody hell. Uh, the vehicle is not even launched. Uh, and they sold 200 in South Africa alone. Uh, 
worldwide, they say they're just sitting over 70,000 already. I mean, bloody hell, that's good going for a vehicle that's not even launched yet. Um, these are still prototypes that people are buying. Uh, I do think that also companies like the uh, United Nations and all these charity groups, they they going to love this vehicle. I mean, it's a drug. Uh, so the Range Rover is definitely, definitely going to have all hell breaking news around them when this vehicle uh, comes into the market. Uh, I'm going to say cheers for now. I will do a little bit of a voiceover. Uh, it's getting a bit busy around me here now. So I will um, say goodbye. Thank you for supporting the channel. Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, it's highly appreciated. You'll see my channel is not just one specific vehicle I support, it's just because it's a personal taste. You know, a die out Land Cruiser, oh, it's a die out Land Cruiser, it'll never change it. Uh, it's the same with us. So, uh, well, we were forced to change, but we, 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 got, we got a better vehicle. This is what Land Rover should have built and they didn't. Uh, and I hope it will learn them a deal lesson because this thing is going to give him a little bit, bit of a headache in the market. All, they do, all the 4 by 4s and you know, um, So, yeah, thank you very much, everybody. Um, and I'll see you on the bright side. Cheers. Bye. Utility. What does it mean to you?